Hey everybody, this is Miss Coker. And Jackson. And that's my son Jackson. Um, and we wanted to show you a two-player game that involves fractions that we've been playing a lot of since we've been at home lately. This game is called Fraction Tracks. Um, I'm going to be player one, I'm going to be the car. And I'm going to be the guitar. All right, so Jackson, go ahead and press play. So I am going first. It says right here that player one goes first, and I need to move one eighth. Now, the goal of this is I'm trying to move my cars along these tracks, and Jackson's trying to move his guitars along these tracks. The person that wins the game is the person that gets as many of their game pieces at the very end of the track or where it says um, a fraction equivalent to one whole. Uh, so let's see. I have one eighth, so I can move my car one eighth. And I press move. And then four sixths. So Jackson right now is looking for a move. So he can either move four sixths or he can move something equivalent to four sixths. Now, if you don't know much about equivalent fractions, um, you can use the game board to help you here. So Jackson moved four sixths, but if you track this all the way up or down, the fraction um, two thirds is at the exact same point in the track as two six, four six. So you know those two fractions are equal. Um, the same with one half. These all these fractions are equivalent or equal to one half because they're at the same point of, of the track. Now I'm going to move one sixth and. If I wasn't able to move one six, instead of pressing move, I could also press pass. Jackson's turn. Uh, hey, Jackson, show me four fifths on the screen really quick. Right. Is there another fraction that's equal or equivalent? Eight tenths. Eight tenths. So if you wanted, you can move eight tenths. Go ahead and do that. Wait, um, four. And then hit move. All right, we're just going to play just a little bit longer. So if you notice, um, I can move one third, but you know what I know? I know one third and two sixths are equal or equivalent. I'm going to move some sixths instead. So I get to move two sixths. That means I get to move an extra two sixths. The goal being to get to the very end of the track. So right now, if I were to get three six, I could move my my car one, two, three six, and I would be at the end of the track. Go ahead, Jackson, play one more time, and let's see what happens when you move one fifth. Well. Now notice Jackson just got to the end of the track for the fifth. That means my car is out. He is already in the lead. We're going to stop here, but we'll put the link to this game under the video. We hope you have a good day. Bye, Bye everyone.